Um, <clears throat> real quick, I want to talk about the news that came out this week. Um, obviously, I was disappointed that a former player was acknowledged uh, in this report. I've always prided myself on doing things the right way. Um, I've done that my whole career. Um, I have absolutely zero relationship with that agent or that agency. Wouldn't know if he walked in the room today. And um, we'll cooperate any way we can to with the investigation. Okay. With that said, you know I want to apologize. I want to take full credit for today. We weren't very good, and what I just talked about wasn't a distraction. Um, I just didn't have us ready. Michigan was terrific. Made every shot. We couldn't guard them. Our offense wasn't good enough. We let our offense affect our defense, and we just, we just, you know, first time, guys. We've we've got since the Ohio State game. We've been pretty good in eleven straight games. And today we weren't, and um, you know, I'll take I'll take the blame for that. But uh, our guys competed. We, you know, the second half they tried to compete a little bit. We played five guards, and we were a little bit better. But uh, Michigan was terrific. Okay, we'll open up for questions. Again, if you can say your name and affiliation before asking the question. Let's start with Don, please. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Mark, um, in the statement yesterday and again today, you said you had a connection with Andy Miller. Um, can, can you say with full confidence that no, nobody on your staff has ever talked to him and, and you feel confident that you're not going to go forward with that? Yes. I mean, there's no involvement with us and our, our staff. Not zero. Next question, please, Roman. Mark, but when we start supposed to in regards to yesterday, is there is there an internal review of the current players, current staff with, with you guys right now at the school, or are you working yeah. with the NCAA at all? No, I, I, it's all internal right now, um, you know, with the president, athletic director, clients, and so it'll all be internal. Um, we haven't heard from anybody else at this point. Questions, please, please, right back here. Coach, I know it was disappointing today. Uh, going into the tournament, what are, what are your thoughts after a game like this? Is it just something you've burned the tape? But uh, that, talk about the small lineup. That's the smallest you've ever gone here, I think. Yeah. Five guards. Yeah, and I, I don't have enough guards. You know, I have a couple in boots and different things. But um, no, what I asked the team, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to take all the blame today because we were terrible. And, and obviously, it starts with me. But I said, we're going to take tomorrow off, we're going to come Monday. And if I see any quit in anybody, I'm going to run the crap out of you. And so we're going to come Monday, we're going to work on us for two days, trying to get better. Um, stay confident. It's never as good as you think, it's never as bad as you think. It's one game. These guys have competed, we've been through a lot. It just wasn't our day. So we'll come back Monday, we'll work, and you know, hopefully by noon on Thursday we're ready to go. In, in terms of the defense uh, early on and, and, and giving guys just such open looks, yeah. how I mean, when you when you see that, <clears throat> is there anything you can do to, to to get guys to start playing defense? Well, we just we made a lot of mistakes. We made a lot of mistakes. So we would run at guys we're not supposed to be running at. Our two, you know, our key was guard the ball. We didn't guard anybody the first half. The ball got wherever it wanted. Second half it did late. Um, and then we just made some really bad decisions um, out there. And um, it's frustrating. I was supposed to let them drive baseline their first three. We drive baseline. We helped from the top of the key. Never done that. You know, so we were a little bit out of it. They were really good. Um, and um, it was just one of those days, no matter what button you tried to push or what you tried to say, it just it wasn't going to get corrected. We have a couple more questions for Strom and Josh. Mark, you said that it, you know the, the news yesterday it wasn't a distraction, but have the last 24 hours just, I mean, just the amount of energy probably it's taken to deal with that and then to coach your final regular season game was, how difficult has that been? 
Not difficult at all because I haven't given it any thought. I'm pissed about it, but I haven't given it any thought. I'm disappointed I didn't have my team ready, but that news does nothing to me. Last question, Josh, please. Mark, uh, did you consider starting uh, the, the seniors or Checo and Nicklaus at all? What kind of No, I just, I, that's a great question. I, I, you know what? I, I'm one of those guys that sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. We have won two in a row. Like I said, we've played well in like 11 straight games. Four or five games in a row with that lineup, we've been really good. We've started games well, we've started halves well. And that's why I went with it, because this game was pretty important to us. We didn't play like it, but it was pretty important. Thank you, Coach. Thank Thanks, you, Coach. Coach.